all right let's get started first go to word earth this is the first time i'm going to word earth first then go to this a button and click on it and you'll have this text box now what i want you to do is type a b c to z so a space b space c space d space e so bear with me h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z all right i have tapped all my alphabets right here so i'm pretty much done over here now what i need to do right now is press ctrl a by that i will select all of this then i'm going to change the font a bit maybe i'll type dagger square this one or you may choose any font you like it's up to your will then i'm going to click on s to get rid of the shadows so i have something like this on my screen so what i need to do now is click on this and i'll create some animation so i'll go to animations then i'll go over here to more then i'll click on it and i'll have some more options then i'll go to line options and click on it and i'll have something like this now i want to type different so i want the d to be on the spot of a now to do that i'll create some reference frames that i know where the thing is so i'll get a line over here you don't necessarily need to do this i'm just going to create some lines so that i know what i'm doing so this is the line basically here's the letters are going to come and i'm going to increase the size about like that 66 points yeah or maybe 70 80 yeah done now what i need to do is bring the d to a because i'm going to create different in the entire text so what i will do now is click on this then i'll have the animation button clicked on then i'll have this with the red dot clicked on i have my d just beside a and i'll put it right on top of it like that done now if i open the slideshow and click the d will come in the spot of a that's pretty simple right all right now what i need to do is just click on it and go to animation pen and go to this triangle over here and go to effect options then i'll just make the smooth start to seconds done and then hit ok all right we're pretty much done and i'll increase decrease the duration to about one second maybe oh now i guess i'll keep it 1.5 yeah this works but if you want to make it more fancy you can do one another thing what you can do is rather than make it so simple press ctrl a then press ctrl c to copy everything then go at the bottom of it then press enter then paste it you have another set of a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z now what you want to do is to put this d the second d in the place of the a so what i need to do now is get the d the bottom d in the place of a which i've got it almost right there you can scroll and as you can see the d is right beside a and i'm going to put on top of it just like that done now i'll hit with previous now if i hit the slideshow you'll see it creates a bit more drama which i want now i'll go to the effect options again and make the smooth end a bit much longer or maybe make them both equal and hit ok and i'll have something like this i'll increase the duration to about three seconds now let's see what happens so now it's looking right now all right so we got our d ready then we want i double f r e n t so it's quite easy you just click on it then press ctrl d to duplicate it right then place it right beside the previous one then press ctrl d again i'll duplicate it eight times to create different so one one two three four five six seven eight nine all right i have nine letters ready all right now i'm gonna click ctrl a then i'll click select all then holding down shift i'll drag over all of this so that i can deselect this too then i'll just increase the font size a bit because i think it would be more awesome if the font size were increased all right so we have our fonts ready 
Now I'll get rid of these two lines holding down shift and clicking on them. Now I'll press Ctrl A to select them all, go to Format, go to Align and distribute them horizontally. Done. Then I'm going to type in different. So the first animation I want D. So I'm going to click on it and click the animations. And as you can see the red spot will indicate where the D should be. So I'm going to put the D right on top of it. Like that. Alright. For the next part. I'm going to see the next point and I'm going to have to bring the eye on top of it. So I have my eye right over here and put it right on top of it like that. Yeah. So as you can see it can be a bit tedious work but yeah it should give a nice effect in the end. So I have my if around here and I'm going to put it right over here. Since I'm typing different what I need to do now is just copy that. So I'm gonna press Ctrl Delete to delete it and just copy this thing right over the second spot. So that because I have two diff F, so it's easy for me and two E, so it, it's gonna be easy for me. For now, let's see what happens. All right, something like this D I I F F. Now I need E R E N T. So you can skip the part where I'm just manually making all the part right but if you want to see you can just see me doing this stuff over and over and over and again it's up to you or you can just fast forward it and when you're done yeah it's pretty much done um, I'm quite satisfied with it you can just you know spend more time to make it perfect but I'm pretty much satisfied with the word it gives different all right then what I need to do is create a message and what will be my message? Do something different today. So I'll go to the rectangle part and create a rectangle on top of it and create a rectangle on the bottom of it like that and make them both get rid of outlines and make them white. Then I'll go to shape fill and make them white and after that I'll go to animations and make them fade. And I'll make them fade, appear, basically I will make them appear right after the animations are done. So it will be something like that. The animation happens, then this to disappear. Then I will make my, some of my text appear. So I'm going to go to inside word and type something. I'll type do something, do something, I'll type in dagger square increase this font size and put it right over here yeah just like that increase the size a bit like that and do something different today okay all right <laughs> I'm just filling the space all right so basically I'm done I'm gonna have to make those takes these two takes appear also so I'm gonna go to animations and make them fade and go to start with previous and I'm gonna make the duration a bit much longer than the you know rectangle ones then let's hit ok slideshow and our animation is done do something different today thanks for watching the entire tutorial there will be more tutorials don't forget to subscribe and if you think some of your friends can use these tutorials do share it with them because it might help some people change their life and attitude to animations and help them create some animations. So why not share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.